Hello, hello. How's it all going? Yeah, still don't have much of a setup. <laughs> Gone back in time as far as the setup goes. <laughs> hello, hello. At least the camera's not like up my nose this time. Yeah, not bad. Been a lazy week. Kind of sucks having to get the stream kit out every time I want to stream, make a mess all over the place. Um, yeah, like I said, it's like going back in time. Um, the Dead by Daylight streams, they're in a funny place at the moment. Uh, looks like I can stream one player games fine. Um, but yeah, the Dead by Daylight stream the day afterwards, I was fucking, I was teleporting all over the place. It was like my survivor was, like, tripping on Ayahuasca or something, just had no idea what was fucking going on. I'd be teleporting over the map, killers would be fucking hitting me with their mind. Yeah, no, it was horrible. <laughs> I'm sure the stream looked good, it was the gameplay that took the hat. Um, so yeah, we're fucking ordering Starlink. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on me to get a job, but hey, hopefully Elon Musk's internet, um, does the trick. <laughs> Because, like, yeah, it's funny. I can play online games fine. And I'm not sure if, like, just the FWA couldn't handle both playing online and streaming. The weather was also shit that day. So there's a chance that was the case. I did a dummy stream yesterday where I was just streaming straight off my PS5. That worked a lot better. But it's like, you know, oh, is it because... I'm doing it all on one device, or was the weather just sufficient? Like, I'm not, I'm not sure. So yeah, DVD's in a weird spot, don't know how I'm going to tackle that tomorrow. But I'm confident FF16 should give us no snags. So, without further ado, I'll quit my bitchin'. And yeah, hey, at least I'm on the fucking couch. Jill looked white as a sheet when they caught her back. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Little ends. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Otto. Is now a good time. Otto. Otto. Mm. He's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Uh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movement? Vivian's doing all she can to try and drag him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent ours out to the Ghost Breakers and our other friends in the West. I was uh -huh. to keep their eyes peace for anything. Not ravens. Sure. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. Ah, yes. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. I detect a rather mid character. <laughs> when did you get back? <laughs> Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here. I think I mid's a short version. Yeah, Midadol. Midadol Talamon. A student of engineering at the University of Canva. She is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins. That means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. And she said's daughter, but yeah, okay. You could do as a favor. <laughs> Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <laughs> the father had a sense of humour. <laughs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! 
Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Every gang needs its science geek. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. The store of I'm out of here. I wonder what Mid's plotting. I can't remember if they make it clear who her mother is. Shouldn't you be getting some rest here? Did Sid ever mention? You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn Just if I'm going to be a... Workshop, like the one I had at Dad's if I'm going to be a... Mid. Fairy, just come back. fairy spitting guy. And the resemblance is there. For a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. Actually, I'm gonna settle it now. I know now. that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? Okay, well, it's not important. It's an adopted daughter, do so... Do? <laughs> first things first, I need to Stop theorizing. <laughs> There's the design to the stuff I need, and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. That just like, puts a Is fucking, that just puts some buckshot for in now, the fucking head of where I was going. <laughs> Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. I mean, that makes sense. I was just going, oh, she's blonde. <laughs> that, was, that was all I was basing anything off. Alright, fuck it. Clive's too lazy. Gonna fast travel rather than walk down the way a bit there. Jill. was wondering where you'd got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? I mean, Mid Just would be an even funnier name if that was the case. Of a workshop in the stores. Says Benedicta and Sid's daughter. Materials. It's Here's like, you list. know, fucking daughter of like two dominants and you're not a dominant yourself and then you get called Mid. <laughs> Think you can find everything on there? This lot. I'd be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid, hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Blackthorn, you busy? What does it look like? I Looks have like you're just standing there being an NPC, mid. bro. She requires certain tools. How about you get involved with the main plot? Eh? Hey. 
You can pretend Deep to be a main character, like me. Bloody hell. Was she planning to build me this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolf's available. Mm, yep. <laughs> Clive Marva rather fast travel down the end of the block. Got to make Have use of my PS5 it? loading times. <laughs> Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. Uh, I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Uh, Bernard, was it? That's right. <laughs> and he's a friend NPC of the NPC number 16. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Actually, so yeah, we got Titan last time. Yep, yes, pretty good. And I did make the comment of how I don't really use Titan, so... Let's quickly make us up another thing here. So Phoenix and Garuda, they're goated. And honestly, I don't use Ramu very often. So... It really wouldn't have hurt to try a little Titan out. Um, alright, so... We've got our Scarlet Cyclone. Go Ignition. Go Flames of Rebirth. Yep, just good old Gouge and Wicked Wheel. Maybe go something different than Wicked Wheel, but your yeah, Gouge is goaded. Um, alright, so we got wind up. Alright, nice big falcon punch like attack. And upheaval, slam first to the ground, dealing damage to all the enemies within range. Yeah, hold it down to do a bigger smack. Alright. Right, I can't afford to play around with it, I don't really use Ramu. So, okay. Off to Martha's Rest. So I guess since we're now doing loadouts, let's make this other one a little bit different. So instead of Ignition, we'll have Rising Flames. Oh shit, no, that's on my current one. No, nope, no, nope. ignition. And there we go. So this one is the ignition will have rising flames. Um I guess the rest of it's fine. One little difference. Just one I think is gonna be better for rushing bosses down. Clive, what brings you? Sammy Wammy! Blah bluey blue blue! Um, find itself in need of an extra carpenter. I I'm gonna be lurking. To Feel free to lurk, my friend. Feel free to say hey as well. Friends here, we? Thank you, Martha. Do you hope everything's going you know good? I might find him. He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there then. Oh, who's a good doggo? When did you 
did so big. The ruins of Cressida. All right. Hmm. Am I heading the right way? Yes. Now yeah, we've got the old fucking hand of the Hyperions. We won't actually need to do those. So that's cool. Been there, done that, got my platinum, thank you very much. Let's see how we fare against these dudes now. Oh, I gotta change my loadout back. Easy enough to deal with. Stupid herbivores, you got, got nothing on me. Alright, let's try it out. Let's try a Titan out. Come on, help me! Stupid asshole. Alright, give me a, give me a minute. Oh, we'll get there. Oh no, it's a crab. Oh, let's get these guys too. Boo, 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 boo. Yep. Yep. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. There we go. <laughs> Bottom area. Ooh, a foot pad. What a title. Yeah, so the hands of the Hyperion, they're like combat trials. And you have to use um, certain abilities. I know you get like, I think a decent accessory for each one, but considering I didn't fucking do any of them originally until I'd pretty much beaten the fucking game, <laughs> I think we'll be all right. It was something I had to do for the trophy, the platinum trophy. But I got the platinum trophy, so. You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And. If Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Sure, why not? It's always got to be stacking objectives. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. 
only to find the place crawling with fiends. Hey, Foxy, how's it going? But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Don't how's how's the hustle? Could... How's the grind? It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take... Not too bad, my friend, not too bad. Back down to a gorilla setup at the moment. Who plays one player games fine. DVD streams are in a weird place for me at the moment. That's a giant scorpion, yeah. Definitely not the weirdest thing you'll see in these games. This shouldn't take off. They look cool, but absolutely whiffed. Is this fucking fence like... This fence is keeping me at bay! What a god fence! Fence are dominant? Alright, this will actually be good Titan practice. Yeah, butch! I mean, that felt pretty cool. Alrighty. Try to get those parries. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There we go. <laughs> My Berserker ring, it's just, it's just so good. Game over, bitch! I mean, yeah, like, it's pretty good, it's pretty cool. I just feel like perfect dodging with my Berserker Rings a little more efficient. A little more efficient. That should do it. Berserker Ring, you're just so damn good. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. Int, int. I'm sorry. Don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that oh, raised me, being meta? it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet Probably you not. <laughs> is he Benedict's son? That should take care of Mid's little list. Go ahead back before she... Mid's little mid quest. Clive? 
You've all done then? I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Brilliant. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. Lucky, lucky me. Does that level up? Nah, I think it. Breath of Earth. Okay, bit of wind up. Don't care then. That's my good deed for the day done. But guess what, guys? More side quests. <laughs> lucky, lucky us. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? I it just means the latter half of the stream is going to be where all the good shit is. Um, well, the story is in the way of this side quest, so... Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Carpocrates about Torgal. Ah, yes. He must have found something. Torgal's a dominant. The fence is a dominant. Everyone's a dominant. All right, Rodrigue. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I... Don't sound so excited, I think bro. I do it. Just keeping that, giving me I that fail. sick side quest energy. You survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden, and we must lift that burden. In order to go undetected, the operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential, and we undergo it willingly. I oh, know. I still wish there was some other way, but griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. I just need to find a hideous monster to get it. With the infirmary's ammonia supply so low, what few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. What do you want me to kill? We'll gather, but there'll be some hideous monster guarding it. He does seem desperate. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> Just You're get on with it. Oh, thank you. No one knows Herb Lord like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria, just search for the bright blue blossoms. Alrighty, and what's the other fucking quest? Doink. Oh, I should have fast travelled. Would have been slightly faster. The little ones have been up to their own tricks again. <laughs> Jill looked white as a sheet when we did. It's alright. What the fuck? Oh, See, there's nothing to fear from I've been bamboozled. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Oh my God, it's Nikes! Oh, they were sent to liberate a carriage of. How the fuck are you, my friend? They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. 
A curse breaker managed to release the Stolas amid the confusion, but... This was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. One day closer to the Friday. Work getting sure pretty fine. hectic, is it? But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go find, I'll go find them. them. I'll go do my we'll main character shit. Knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgo will track them down. Do, do, do. So, Hawks cry cliff. Uh, it's gonna get really fun once I'm getting quests in all the different areas at once. Alright, it's actually quite close by. Very nice. The river was easy enough to find. Now for those herbs. Royal Raptor! Definitely good for mobs. Old Titan. Definitely makes makes mob slaughter more efficient. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Should be enough to keep the infirmary stock for a while. Alright, that was too easy. Let's not fast travel, let's go do this other thing. Yoink! Alright, where am I going exactly? Not too far. Slavers don't even bother with Northridge now they're all the hype. Antelope! You must die! Keep off the grass! Farewell. Farewell. Must be these... these dudes. Hey, Cole. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northridge. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. Goblins! You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, Goblins. 
It's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. What an, what an ass kiss. It goes without saying that it's good to see me, thank you very much. They're trying to get into the carriage. Just clean those mobs up. Chats, my friend. <laughs> Falcon Punch. <laughs> Pretty good cooldowns on those Titan abilities. Made an absolute oh, joke out of fatty there. A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? Yeah, stupid goblins. One miserable death. No goblins should just lie down one. and pretend to be dead. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. <laughs> they had like three mages. They were just dead before denied. they could do anything. <laughs> Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you. You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This just goblins, bro. Life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Squinty McGee. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. All right, now we'll fast travel. Sid. Welcome back. A Stolas from the Dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. Lazy bitch. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you. For your faith in me. 
I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. <laughs> yeah, what do I get? Mm, let's say two second cooldown of rising flames. Yeah, nice to know I have it. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Ah, that was the usual. That was the easy one, mate. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. What a bitch! The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Man bearers got the same shit. Of agony is the wound. <laughs> even your tattoo has to be like a a cursed. To people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim and yet we have no shortage of volunteers the day i decided that i would take sid's name was the same day taya took my brand i remember it wasn't long after we came here what little medicine taya managed to salvage from the wreckage of the old place had been used up treating the wounded she begged that your operation be delayed until a new supply of antagonists was found. I was whinging about something. The procedure was even more dangerous back then. Only a few souls had undertaken it. Doris, Cole, a handful of other curse breakers, and those who were no longer with us. Those who lost their lives in the process. It wasn't cool. something to be done lightly. No. But it was something I had to do, if I was to take Sid's name. He always led from the front, and never asked anyone to take a risk for his cause that he was unwilling to take himself, even if he knew that it might cost him his life. <laughs> My face. Hold still, Clive! Hold still! I knew there'd be pain. That I might not survive. And I was afraid. But I also knew that if I didn't overcome that fear, that pain, then I would never be able to call myself Sid. I didn't know. We all want our brands removed. But it's a decision each of us must make for ourselves on our own terms. Rodrigue, I know your work isn't easy, but neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Hey. Pardon? Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. 
and it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. I'll hold you to that. Bit more renown. I should look into my abilities. I could probably level some up. do that quickly. Uh, so abilities! Um, but, um, so that's to master rebirth. Ah, fuck heat wave. That's to master gouge. What's Rook's Gambit do? Mm. Uh, I've got Wicked Wheel. I could try upgrade Wicked Wheel. Aerial Blast. Honestly, it does sound pretty sick. Feels like it's another, like, heavy-powered one. Alright. It's 800, and I can get a better Titan's block. What's that for a thousand? That's a Master Ignition. Um... I'm just gonna be that guy, and I'm just gonna fucking bank my points for now. I'm um, right. We got some renown. Let's have a look. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. So we've unlocked Dire Wolf Jess. Not long ago, I was accosted by footpads as I walked the gilded path, and I would have perished alone in the desert had not the curse breakers come to my aid. I owe them my life. May this token serve them well. Traveling Terpsochoran. Yep. I know I'm not this. saying it right. Direwolf Jess. All done? What do you fucking do? Uh, definitely not the Berserker Ring. Direwolf Jess. Bit of combo damage. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Everyone was talking about. Haven't you heard? The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. So I'm down just um general attack attack power. But for five percent boost to my combo damage. So we'll see how that goes when I stagger someone. Clive, where have you been? Side quest. I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were <laughs> very, the very much like Dead arrived, Stark and, and the Dire Wolves. <laughs> seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the... Ah, oh, look, cubs for each of my kids. I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the frost wolf. The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, the girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? <laughs> Daddy? People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened, just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. 
Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a frost wolf, it had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> and regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> there you are! Oh, clip that. I've been looking everywhere for you. Where is he? I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. I shall be a moment. That's, that's, that's some, uh, some juicy out of context line there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna go straight on TikTok. <laughs> it is brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. <laughs> but I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Times, why are you putting peanut butter down your pants? Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Oh no, oh no, no, I'm fast traveling. Oh no, no, no. It's just one thing after another around here. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. <laughs> Clive just folding his arms like, well... What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive, I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> That is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? That's just my goofy ass uncle. For your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Byron? <laughs> hey, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. 
Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Why? And we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. I mean, that goblet's pretty sick. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt <laughs> any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. It's so disturbing about the this Empire image. The owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. I'll drink out of my sick-ass cup now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw oh, I think, their I think Dion, fire could rid us of them in mere I think moments. Dion's getting clived. Being clived by Annabella. The men of the fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. <laughs> yes, mm, good, quite. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. You want to make Daddy happy, don't you? Fucking like religious ass painting behind them. Looks like straight out of like a fucking Catholic ch like chapel that just like has Bahamut casually on there. <laughs> the royal flower, please. <gasps> the royal flower! Yes. Prepare for battle. But, sire. Do not make me a repeat. Probably no law for the royal flower. Oh, there is the wyvern tail. Okay. The elegant white flower is a symbol of the holy empire of Sembrick. Fakes game. Alright. <laughs> Return to your camp and await my orders. That is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. May Gregor forgive you. Do the astrologers all go? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Oh, da, da. 
trouble in paradise. Bella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. find out very shortly I'm just gonna get me another beer and take a quick little biddle Head is smaller than a child's. South Park logic. It's one of them South Park adults. The have been up to their own it's just one thing after another around here. Dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? A little donation. And I'm afraid that is all I know. Is there any... I was going to say if there's something on the fucking um, <laughs> the currency. How the much is that in conjunction to Gil? Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heerjahr, 
or Black Galleon. She boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? <laughs> Why home to Drake's Fang? Somebody Googled it. I see, thank maggots, you very much. So, 20,000 gil. All would right. that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Oh no, wait. That truly yeah. have been their a lot more than that. It's like two million. <laughs> aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death. Bling, bling. And faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Man, the man is rich. Made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed Days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waludas who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it. There was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Touch, touch wood. We don't get hit with the. There are some quests available nearby. No, we're good. <laughs> we good. All right. Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanza and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalemil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thanks, fuck, for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. To the desert! All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Let us away to adventure!
I see Tighty. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Riddle of the Sun. Destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. You let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived. You whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn must have you sat in the sand. Having our casual conversation while we slaughter some chocobos. Pick up that momentum, Clive. There we go. <laughs> Who do you think those soldiers were in the end? So, Lord Cupka's mm, Lord Cupka. Mmm. Oh, shit, in Chocobos. Oh, wrong one. This one. Dalamil in. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. A quick drink before we press on? Sure, Uncle, why not? Are ashen steeds, no doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside.
Guess I'll have a drink too. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that then, and ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! I love it. Brenda's very mm -hmm. like... How? Would you rather be my squire? It's very Arabic inspired place, but they're all still talking in British accents. <laughs> the irony <coughs> so close your grace it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel if you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills no we must press on Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. These jobbers, we're totally going to beat them up. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way. Well, well looters have different accents. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and my well, big silly us. Uncle Mel. A long way to go. Hey, <laughs> you. Uncle. Sorry. <laughs> you made me fake this bad Australian accent. No for nothing. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in Camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Friend. <laughs> well, I need to fill myself up before I cook some ass. Mm. 
Hmm. I'm afraid <laughs> we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Oh, <laughs> <man's beer. laughs> Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. <laughs> Your trouble. Uh, <laughs> word of advice, Miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. Looks refreshing. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Clive? Oh, he still doesn't eat his vegetables. What is it now? It is nothing. Let's go. We didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the fang. We should press him. Right on before any more of them. Should press on, but it's not going to be that easy, is it? Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. Depending on we where we end up gate. at the normal three hours, we may be not pushing overtime. Force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Not sure if it will be the desert there yet. Aid. 
Rosina also. Dalaville, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. Well, if we get down the Penang tracking tube, get down. Oh, it's worth, it's it's worth doing. Is the same. <laughs> that would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family anytime soon. Can't time. quite remember how long we fucking meander around here for. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Why would this emergency? I take for Gilbert's sake. Right. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the <laughs> oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um. You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Another one over here. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. You're a bit cute for if an I NPC. The richest trader in town. Purple here, oh, eyeliner. Then that I look. Oh, that's easy. The briars kiss. Won't find a finer smithy this side Sticking of the street. Sticking out too much. is only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The briars kiss, you say? <laughs> Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's con. Was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not at all. Can I help you? Here we go back yes, to regular ass looking I'm NPCs. looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe from old trading stock then you should ask further he's been here for years knows the place and its people like the back of his hand and he's in with all the old merchant families try the baths that's where you'll usually find him thank you kindly well it sounds like we have our man perhaps Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep the doctors from your door. Excuse me, are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you travel? I am Ferda, I what, what? So. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? Damn, it's a lot I of fucking she shisha bombs. Of some and what business do you have with the desert hair? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Bordello. It's a funny word. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. Garuda! I'm just gonna have to do a little playful phoenix scene on you. Falcon! Oh!
It's definitely a cool attack to finish on. Big old falcon punch. Clive likes his falcon punches. Oh man. You're burning us with fire and smashing us with giant fists. That like hurt my arm. Uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? At least the game's been self aware. Dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Needed to a silken soft. The most fragrant herbs and spices. Carpet. Is this the place? Lubor's Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's Lubor. clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves That's our right, respect. That's right, Lubor. <laughs> Reminds me of Aladdin. <laughs> but he doesn't like... It's mainly his attitude. Yeah, Lubor. not so much his clothes. Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. <laughs> Riff raff, street rats, I won't buy that. <laughs> My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all <laughs> means. Mama to his Find farce. someone else to help you on your way. Very out of Final Fantasy tactics, that line. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... Final Fantasy tactics is also so, a very politically driven story. What do we need to do to earn your trust? And the final boss in that mm. game... Was called Ultima. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a <laughs> special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. This Disney Aladdin well motherfucker. That. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. <laughs> Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five years 
five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Damn you. Manus, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Riddle? Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Now let's do side quests, but they're mandatory. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Uh. Tra la 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 la. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just the question. Arabic. Barnabas. Salamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Warm from the oven. You wouldn't yes. believe how much it is. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Uh -huh. Then be off Polish, you. polishing I the, the sword. The, rock the men of the rock only. <laughs> you have an agreement with them? In your window. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and a nurse to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. My carpets have cried and What was all that crashing and banging about before? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. This suffice as a deposit. By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part my with. My superpower is give money. Me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing 
sound cool. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch five hundred thousand or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. Preening Popinjay! It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust should I actually I check the shop. Support. If things turn sour. So we'll do that quickly. As quickly as Clive will let me. Jump over there, Clive! Damn it. Pranse to the, the shop. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Oh, once you go flat. Bread warm from the oven. Okay. Tra la 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 la. I am a main character. Dominant of the fleet. I'm so happy, Blancy Lancy la 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 hello there. Anything I can interest you in? Let's see, I've already got platinum swords. Hunters, yeah, those are all the same. No, no. No, I don't need that. I'll just get that off fucking monsters. I'll top up my potion. An excellent choice. Yep. Go with Gilbert. Easy, easy. Yeah. Just look at the detail. Clive just happily skipping. Maybe Us Rossfields were told we have the very noble Fresh gate. Oh, no, no. He does. He looks like a stereotypical white girl skipping. Like straight out of a movie. How do we make this little girl look really innocent? Gotta have his skip like an asshole. Alright. Chocobos must die! Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fly Ambrosia. 
if I'm talking about maybe doing overtime, I'll do my part and I won't fuck around. Don't really look like there are any enemies on in my way anyway. I'll take it from here. Nope. Dog goes, I guess someone who got home. Dad, I guess. <laughs> I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. Yes. You brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. And I'm making a Not citizen's that arrest. At all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. <laughs> but we have ships. And will gladly deliver to a port yeah. of your choosing. I just love it. The real like Arabic motherfuckers met. and scarves and turbans Royalists, and shit. Eh? Sound just as British what as everyone. Then the Walloonas have this like weird like European accent. Blessing, of course. <laughs> Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord, <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. It's not over yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Well, mage die. Oh, that's not go well. What were you up to, buddy? Too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? 
Greybeard, you are magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. So what I'm worried about Such is that we're gonna more be done with all this. And it's gonna go bam, side quests. That's what I think's gonna watching. happen. Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Sometime later. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Shut up, Aladdin. Well, Prince Clive, Ali. You held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Your attack on Titan garbs underneath that vest. To deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. Nope. Thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Oh, <laughs> Here. Wear this. Well, he just gave him the Desert Rose seal, Any so yep. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend Can... of yours. Get that side quest you, stank. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices <laughs> back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed. Let's with see. Sid. Let's see how long. Let's see how long the fucking side quests keep us. <laughs> that does explain it. Yeah, Stolices. Owls capable of transmitting the thoughts of others, specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to an ancient incantation, their lithified third eyes store these thoughts in the form of ether, allowing them to be passed on as and when required, though only to the intended recipient. Stolices are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority. For the purpose of sending secret or urgent messages, and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation, Umiya Lostilan Sui Xalif, can loosely be translated as My will is now thy burden. Near cleft our bonds shall be. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Pretty secure network. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. If interceptors killed your stolers, they wouldn't <laughs> get the message. <laughs> well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Boom. Alright. 
only two of them. I've never even forged a button. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Oh, we're laid on in those riddles. Thought I'd ask. It was that, or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? You could have just I'll done this. Every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Whew, okay. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. My carpets have bright. Yes, they're quite soft. Fresh bread. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. From the stoutest stoneware, silver platter. All right, this is our other quest. All those years of toil, every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. <laughs> Second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot, and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. All right. That one's actually out of town a bit. Yeah. Wait inside. Ha! They've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his. Yeah, so top water. Oh boy. 
good. Alright, so we're looking around here. Oh, hello. What is it? Me no move for chatter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Don't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. A good knife is one that stays sharp and so doesn't I, break. A carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Yeah, it's That's hardly a revelation. Look than I did. <laughs> it cuts and it doesn't break. That is what my science has brought up. Needed to a silken soft. The most fragrant herbs of spice. So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. He must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but... I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Lubo wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. <laughs> Clive's invested. Either durable. We must track down Koopka. Meaning someone. No, let's help this loser apprentice. Master Lubor. Do his job. <laughs> is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps. I love riddles. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant, a favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Bloody hell. So now it's some blasted out there. Ay, ay, ay. Ambrosia, save me! I cannot travel between crystals, so Ambrosia it is! Thanks, girl. Lord Cook has finally made his move. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... There's more! Oh, you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash? Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. 
then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me. No, you don't. But... No, you don't, you dog shit can. Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it. So where the other yeah, quest is, that is kind of nice. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. So... Yeah, okay. At least they're kind of on the way to each other now. Ugh. Well, this is no good. Is it true what I'm hearing? The finest fabric! The most fragrant herbs and Fresh spice. bread, warm from the oven. Yeah, have a taste. Plates and pots! Plates and pots! We should get going soon. Do you have water? Oops, story. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. <laughs> you and your Tolaki riddles. and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Okay. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? I mean, the limestone's just chilling right there. How lovely. Looks a lot like another. Uh, Hopefully, this is what Seven needs. Well, Come on, girl. Go do the other thing first. Tell me you put down roots. And I will ride past any annoying enemies. Showdown with Koopka is well worth it. Let's fucking get our asses there. One of my favorite boss fights in the whole game. Deserve a rest. By the flames. That explains the heat. Very close 
close range. Faithful. I love how it's got a bath bomb. Great. <laughs> Try and run away from me, bitch. Let's cool things down a bit. Let's hope it's enough to keep the bots. All right, and then we'll wrap both these there fucking quests up and be on our way forward. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Some bath what bombs. I expected, that's for certain. <laughs> you tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I've burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. Ooh, okay, ignition. It's faster ignition cooldown. Nice. I see I got Scarlet type from this fucker. Blade and Rots! Fresh bread, warm from the oven. The most yes. fragrant herbs. My carpets have cried of place. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. You are one of the good ones, you know that. Oh, I know that. Look at that merchant boat. She's got quite a gift for teaching that one. <sighs> now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. Sometime later. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. It looks like an Life arrowhead. Forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish. 
But it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. Yay! Wasted our time! I you found to teach you that little trick, but <laughs> it certainly shows initiative. <laughs> Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that? Hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. You are my C student. Keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um. I was wondering, uh. What would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. <laughs> Goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. Couldn't have gotten so my C grade without you. Little, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. Yep. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. Drop your pants. It's There's time to cut your testicles no off, time. boy. And when I do. I'll craft you Time the to flay first you. carving knife you have ever seen. Okay, you're worth 520 AP. You are forgiven. You are forgiven, my good little waste of time. Alright. Now we don't unlock any crystals. The finest fabric! It would be. Juiciest meat Made from the stoutest stoneware. Sweet incense. Alright. On to the plot. We should get going soon. <whistles> Come on. Fly Ambrosia. Fly Ambrosia. I did love that quest too much. Stupid do gooder. Hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. A 
Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however... No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. My boy. Till then. Go safely, Uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. Just reading your comment, Aoli doesn't look like a fag. He looks more like a pop cyst. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. So this is going to take us to the map. Yep. Alrighty, big dungeon ho! Um, so I do notice I got Scarletite before, so I believe I can make some better armor. So we're gonna do that. Karen, uh, well, they both have new shit, apparently. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Go on, then. Uh, she probably just has the crap that they're selling. Or maybe some new accessories. Yeah. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not like four, and I know I can at least make some armor. So, what it be? Oh, and a new sword. Good thing I came back here. It's only a little upgrade, but there we go. Bad, if I do say so myself. Drake Slayer's bracelets. No scratches, right? And. Ah. 
gonna go toilet, get a beer, and we'll do this shit. Yeah, definitely pop cyst. <laughs> My new hands really suck. <laughs> what is this dirt? What has that gutter rat done to me? <laughs> Jamie Lannister energy. <laughs> my sandwich. I'll kill you, Rossfield. I'll rip out your heart. I'll tear you limb from limb. Monologue Please away, my boy. Hugo, the table shan't hurt you any longer. <laughs> he sought to humiliate me. Me. If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust. And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrific, fast motherfucker. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! <laughs> 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 but so long as that fire is in you, there is still hope. <laughs> there may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power. But others have suffered a similar fate, and still manage to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She got killed by a Clive who couldn't control his fucking dominant. His icon, should I say. Benedicta. My eggs, Benedicta! I'll do it. My love. I'll avenge you.
run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Muthos is here. I guess if anything, she was cheating on Barnabas so. with Kuka. Kuka was the other guy. <laughs> you may leave everything to me, your majesty. No. Because, yeah, she was always straight up working for the lewd. Spooky, you mean stinky. I think. Orcs. Yeah. <laughs> Not a common enemy in Final Fantasy games. Did the Royalists bring them from Ash? Then part of the Waluda army now. Oh, look at you, Clive, pretending you're gonna be sneaky. We both know that's not gonna happen. What are you here? Fuck that. So much for the men of the rock. Dalmechia's finest. A little combo, the old igniter and fucking upheaval, that's what it's called. Okay. Oh, it did stink a chest. Okay. Oh. Even this wasn't the right way? Oh, fuck me. Straight ahead, I guess. These assholes up there. Oh, 
Alright, let's go over here -ish. Did I take care of those mages? Good. Going that way, this way. Lightning rods are good ability, I will use it, just not yet. Too soon for lightning rods. Why is there ain't shit out here? Cool. Uh, Once we get a certain dragon's powers, lightning rod is a lot of fun. Our mid boss. Cool. <laughs> uh, I won't be sneaking past this one. How did it get you say it like you snuck past any of them. Get that shit out of here! <laughs> Fucker ain't got shit on me! <laughs> I'll be continuing on now, thank you very much. Pretty. By the flames. Come on, Togo. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think it's definitely melting my, my, um, my stagger combos. Kupka never did do things by halves. As if taking the Mother Crystal for his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. Oh, it's totally gonna be another boss through here. <laughs> Who 
Let the trial begin. These motherfuckers. Man, I'm doing mad damage. Honestly, Titan does some fat damage. It's over. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> and yeah, I do think this fucking this ring is like insane. <laughs> Two staggers, the second one, like, he barely fucking got up from the last stagger. <laughs> just came so fast. So this is the power of Muthos. Get this shitty item, there's totally gonna be other enemies. Well, there wasn't, but it was a shitty item. and do more damage, that not good. That means I kill the fuck out of you. Oh, 
Let's try Clive. I ain't falling for that shit. Doing your bravery. Oh, and you're good job, Toggle. What a good boy. That shit out of my house! Bitch! Oh, okay. Then tell me what is the way forward? Is it this door? Oh, no, it's just gotta be this one. Loading cutscene. Alright. <laughs> Look how Clive's been sneaky. No one's fallen for it, Clive. You You've barged in here time. and you killed everyone who got in your fucking way. <laughs> where did you go? You killed everybody that had to share a room with you. <laughs> He's in the sanctuary. I can feel it. Come on, Toggle. Ooh, better upheaval. So, okay. Do I have to humiliate another boss? No, just some just mobs.
You want the falcon punch? You get the falcon punch. <laughs> better, better be the last of them. Yeah, I know, right? Let's get the coop car. That's where the sh that's where the fucking shit's at. So yeah, it's literally at like 8.20 and the fight begins. <laughs> I've missed you so much. Oh, what a fight we're in for. I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? It's showing them things. It's showing them boobs. You, you got away from her. What a dictator! I guess, like, yeah, the, the crystals or something to do with Ultima, it's showing him. It's, it's provoking him, basically. It's showing him shit to intentionally piss him off. around the PlayStation, I swear to God, if you turn it off. Such a cool design for Titan. Get your ankles, boy!
Nope, jumped into that one. Pew, pew, pew! Stone. It's like a shield attack, I think. It's gonna give me a tutorial, 100%. Stones <laughs> Stone throw! A bit more than a stone. Clive's land, Brimstone from Titan, R2 and Square to emit a violent explosion. Yeah. So it's like a yeah, defensive explosion attack. He's invulnerable, damage while charging it. And yeah, we'll trigger the explosion. Alright. Let's give this a try. Doing with their heart of the crystal boy. Uh oh. <laughs> It's popped. Oh, that's some Dragon Ball Z shit. <laughs> Fucking dramatic change in music genre again.
Whoop, whoop, fuck! <laughs> no amplifiers, I got it. Sonic the Hedgehog set piece here. and Clive still just like, fuck and shit. <laughs> Might have given him a rush. I've staggered him! Time to hit his wrist!
Almost staggered him. <laughs> Gets me every time. Virtually every time. <laughs> I'm so insignificant compared to him. <laughs> Oh, come on! Find such a fucking visual spectacle. Oh, no. oh. I'm trying to play those track in my car. <laughs> Casually set me up into the stratosphere. Whoa. 
Oh no. Oops. Oh good. There's nothing stupid about the damage. <laughs> no, da 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 da. <laughs> Die, I play this one in my car too. Yeah, I just love it. It's like, you fight Titan, motherfucker eats a fucking crystal, basically like, turns himself a Kashuk. Then you kill this new Shelly bag, so now we're having a fucking free fall fight in the husk of like, the bigger Kashuk Titan. <laughs> The gods will lose all I got this shit.
so can I. and gloves. Yeah, whoo, what a fight. Jupiter literally gave it everything he had. Whole body petrified. <laughs> Consciousness that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. Thank you, 
しよう。One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Haha, <laughs> but he said rocks. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. Oh, it's Barney. <laughs> but Mythos is stronger. For five years that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. He said head. A fool like all the rest. Crystal should be so beautiful. Holy Order of the Knights Dragoon. Some medicine, my lord. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. <laughs> you must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmecs suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. There's lots of gay characters in Game of Thrones, said those Japanese people. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Master. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. 
You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> that I could avoid doing battle at all. He gave me the flower, man. pardons, your highness. What is it? <laughs> Olivier has been made emperor. The fuck? What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Hello. Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. I just look like Roxas. But no. I'm alive. I'm just a nobody. <laughs> Wink, Kingdom Hearts joke. But no, right. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Alright. Very soon we'll get the save. Just depends on if they bombard us with cutscenes as we enter the hideaway. Or just give me a little bit and then let me take control of Clive. <laughs> I feel like it'll be the ladder. Yep, definitely the ladder. <sighs> I'd better give Otto the good news. Oh, so yeah, there we go. It's twice old Koopka took us in the overtime. About half an hour's worth. <laughs> At least it was only about 30 minutes worth. So yeah, there we go. Big things starting to develop. Um, so yeah, we got a really awesome part done. So uh, yeah, one epic battle. So you know what we're in for at the start of next week's stream. Side quests! Or oh, side quests. Lots of them, I'm sure. <laughs> Lots of them. The more awesome a moment that happens in game, the more egregious the side quests get. Um, that's kind of the point of the game we're getting into. So, yep. No, thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah. <sighs> I'll think, gotta think about how I'm gonna try to get around doing DBD tomorrow. I could just cop out and do it on the PlayStation, or just have, like, no fucking fancy <laughs> fucking flourishes going on, that's for sure. I might have to fucking find my PS5 camera, which I have had kind of, like, held on to all this time, funny enough. Um, or, yeah, or I try maybe 
dumbing the quality down a bit, seeing what the weather's like. But yeah, um, we've ordered Starlink anyway, and I like to think things will get a little sharper then. I was about Mr. Musk, you are a clown. Through and through. But we'll get there when we get there. So, yep, thanks guys. Um, see you next time. Alright, take care.